Hiya friends! I always look like such a hot mess. <laughs> but today I don't care. <laughs> um, so I'm sitting outside. I think I like doing my reviews outside. Um, it's got good lighting out here. Uh, we had a huge uh, dust storm last night with a little bit of thunderstorm. So I just have to sh I, I just have to show you how dusty it was. So this table that I'm sitting at is a glass top table. And this, I don't know if you can see it all, but my kids wrote in the dust. And it's like, it's thick. So it is so dusty out here. Everything is covered in dust. It's pretty insane. Uh, so I'm back with, um, excuse me, just ate lunch. Um, I'm back with a CBV empties review. I believe this is number four. Uh, these are my half shots. Uh, the first one I will do is Barbados. This one I've had since I think last summer. This one's really good. It was a, a nice tropical... I get like a hint of coconut and some fruit. I don't know entirely what fruit, but... It was really good. It was kind of soft. Uh, next, we'll just go in order here, I guess. German chocolate cake. This one... This one was pretty light, too. I get... I think I got kind of like a coconut cake with a hint of chocolate out of this. It was really good. I liked that one. Next is red velvet cake. Got this one in a round robin. This one's hard to describe. It's got the cake note, but it's different than the German chocolate cake. It kind of has that red velvet cake smell to it, where it's not necessarily a chocolate. Um, it's a different type of cake. Now this one I don't smell uh, any of the cream cheese frosting in it. I don't know if there's supposed to be cream cheese frosting in it, but I don't smell any in it. Next, love this one, Tiny Bubbles. I got this one a couple months ago, I think. I really like this. I don't know how to describe it. It kind of has the same smell as um, I totally can't think of what it's called now. Strawberries and Champagne from Victoria's Secret. It's kind of got that type of smell in it where it's got like the perfumey, the perfumey strawberries and champagne note that's in that smell. But then it's almost kind of got this bubblegum smell to it. All in all, it's really nice. I would order this probably in a candle. Um, it's, yeah, it's a hard scent to describe, but it was really good. Sorry, I'm throwing things all over the place. Apple Butter Festival, I have reviewed this one before, so and I also have another one of this one in my box still, so I probably won't review that one for you, because I'm doing it now, and you can't have it twice. Gosh. This is so good. The kettle corn and the, I think it's kettle corn and maybe warm apple fritters, uh, they go really good together. I really like this one. It's definitely a fall type smell to me. Not necessarily because it's spicy, but because it reminds me of going to the fair and the fair is usually held in the fall. So yeah, I really like this one. It's very, very, very nice, very homey. Next is Blushing Peaches. This one I'm all excited. I'm waiting for a CBV package. And I thought that might have been the mail lady, but nope, it's not. Blushing Peaches to me, it's kind of weird. I like the smell, but it smells like peach yogurt to me. Like, if peaches and cream yogurt were a flavor, that's what it would smell like. It's smooth, smooth and creamy like yogurt smells. Um, and the peach in there, um, I just love it. I don't normally do peach smells because they tend to smell like feet to me, <laughs> like sweaty feet. I know, dill pickles in, 
in Granny's pie crust and feet in in peaches. <laughs> but it tends to smell like sweaty feet to me. But Victoria's so far are okay. I like the blushing peaches the best. I haven't tried Georgia peach yet, but so far I really like blushing peaches. Watermelon. This one this one was really, really light. I've had this for a little while, so that might be part of the reason. But um, this one is really, really light. I had to be kind of by the warmer to smell it. And I know normally that's not really the case with watermelon. Um, but it does remind me of, I don't know if you guys get Hubba Bubba bubblegum, but you can find it in like the, the bubblegum section at the, the supermarket. Holy stuttering Batman. Um... And that's what this smells like to me, is that gum. That gum used to drive my mom nuts. She hated the smell of it. <laughs> but that's that one. And last is Cold December's Night. I love this one, but it is so strong. I cut this, the last half, into quarters and melted it in the dining room, in the kitchen and the living room. And it was so strong, it gave me a headache. Oh, but it's so lovely. The sugared spruce and um, I believe it's let it snow or sweet snow. No, sweet snow. Sugared spruce and sweet snow. The sweet snow is so strong. Oh, but this is so good. It like, it literally makes you envision um, a cold December's night. I could imagine being outside hunting for a Christmas tree in the snowfall where the snow is just crisp and clean and it's all quiet outside and you have the smell that you get of the sweet the sweet pine trees I can just imagine stars out all bright and hot cocoa and oh, I can't wait for fall and winter oh, but this is so good I think a candle would really like blow me away so I don't I really want the the coffee cup cutie but I just know that it would just just knock me out. I just know it would be so strong. So, um, excuse me. <laughs> I swear, I'm like the burpiest person in the world when I get on camera. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, so yeah, I've got another CBV package coming today, uh, and I should have one at the end of the week. So I will probably be back doing another review in a little while. Bye, friends.